When I started skating, I always had difficulty completing a full rotation in my puff shaft. My board spun 90 degrees, and my shoulders opened up 90 degrees in the other direction. But I also knew some people can puff shove it so lightly. Is that because they have natural gifts? It might be true, but considering I don't have anything as such, everyone can do what I can at least. My mission today is to show you how to low but easy and consistent pop shove it, and how to practice it. Trust me, what I will talk about today will be the foundation of more advanced tricks, whether a flat ground big spin, or tricks off a bank. And it also helps you solve a problem that your shoulders turn in the air. You're watching Why the Trick, please don't forget to subscribe. First, let's imagine how much energy you need to spin your board. When standing on the ground, you only need a little bit of a nudge, not even a shove, and your board spins perfectly. So why is it so much harder to do the same thing when you are on your board? The answer is simple, your body is pressing your board down. As I said in the previous content about tray flip, your body presses down your board when it tries to generate upward force to jump up. The energy is transferred to your board through your front foot during that process, making it heavier. Needless to say, a heavier object is less likely to move and requires more energy to move. And that's why you can't spin your board when you are on your board. On the contrary, as soon as your body weight starts going up, your body weight is virtually no longer pushing down your board. Without your weight pressing down your board, you can spin your board with the same amount of energy you need while standing on the ground. So timing is everything. Let your body weight go up before popping, so that it doesn't push down your board. To practice this, try lifting your body weight without jumping up. If you feel your weight is floating in the air, and your feet are trying to leave your board, you are doing it right. At this point, your body is no longer pushing down your board. So simply pop the tail, and you should be able to spin your board just like you do when you're standing on the ground. This timing issue is also indicated by your shoulders turning in the other direction of your scoop. When you jump up, your body's downward force transfers to the ground. Then, the ground pushes the force back in the other direction. That's why you can jump up in the action-reaction fashion. Imagine you add a horizontal spin to your jump. Then, the ground pushes your body in the other direction of the horizontal force due to the same physics. In other words, if you try to scoop the tail while your body is trying to jump up, your body receives a counter-reaction from the ground and turns in the air. So make sure to lift your body weight first and pop after that to avoid receiving a counter-reaction from the ground. When your body is going up, you can scoop the tail without receiving strong repulsion from the ground. If you follow the steps so far, you'll be able to spin your board. But now, you also have to think about landing. In a pop shove it, the rear track functions as a fulcrum. And since the front part of your board has a bigger mass, your board swings out in front of you. So if you jump straight upward, you won't be able to land back on your board. In order to land back on your board, try to shift your weight on the toe side before jumping up. This causes a difference between your body's center of mass and a point of action, which in this case is the tail. This difference allows you to spin your board by simply pushing down the tail. Plus, whether you intend it or not, your board will land on the toe side due to the same reason. So you want to have it slip under your feet before your body reaches the ground. To do this, make sure to practice it while moving. Try different weight distribution and see how far you can lean on the toe side. Also, I recommend visualizing where your body will be before leaving the ground. Generally, you should shift your weight by around 30 cm in front, but this may change depending on your body structure and set up your board. So try different weight distributions and find one that suits you the best.